Alliant Computer Systems was a computer company that designed and manufactured parallel computing systems. Together with Pyramid Technology and Sequent Computer Systems, Alliant's machines pioneered the symmetric multiprocessing market. One of the more successful companies in the group, over 650 Alliant systems were produced over their lifetime. The company was hit by a series of financial problems and went bankrupt in 1992. History Topic: 1980s. Alliant was founded as Dataflow Systems in May 1982 by Ron Gruner, Craig Mundy, and Rich McAndrew to produce machines for scientific and engineering users who needed smaller, less costly machines than offerings from Cray Computer and similar high-end vendors. Machines that addressed this market segment later became known as mini supercomputers. At the time, there was a huge gap on the price performance curve as a highly configured VAX 11780th had a performance of about a MIP and Megaflop for around $1 million USD and a Cray 1s or Cray 1M over $10 million USD. Alliant's first machines were announced in 1985, starting with the FX series. The FX series consisted of four types of 18 by 18 inches boards, computational elements, or say, system cache, interactive processor IP cache, and memory modules. Each board plugged into a backplane using a special high-density connector. The caches and memory modules all communicated with each other over a 2x64-bit bus called the DMB data flow memory bus. The backplane was an active backplane and it contained an 8x4 crossbar switch FX8 that allowed any CE to connect to one of four cache ports, two on each system cache. Total cache bandwidth was 376 MB per second. The SAE included a set of Ytec 1064 1065 FPUs and several custom designed support chips to implement a custom vector processor. The Scalar instruction set was based upon the popular Motorola 68000 architecture. The floating point instruction set, vector instruction set, and concurrency instruction set were all custom co processor instruction sets designed by Alliant. The shared system cache and a special concurrency bus implemented low latency concurrency control that could be exploited automatically by high level language compilers to provide data parallel processing among the say. Cycle time for the original CE was 170 nanoseconds. Each IP cache had three ports that connected via ribbon cables to interactive processors, IPs, which used Motorola 68012s and, subsequently Motorola 68020s and then Motorola 68030s with 4 MB of local RAM in a multibus form factor plugged into a 13-slot multibus chassis. Memory modules were 8 MB each and 4-way interleaved with ECC. Read bandwidth was 188 MB per second. Like many early multiprocessing systems, the FX series ran a version of 4 Bahamian dollars and 20 cents Unix on the IPs and say, known as Concentrix which initially added multiprocessor support and new VM and I.O. sub-systems. 
Subsequent releases added features such as the first striped track file system (TFS) and support for real-time scheduling (FXRT). Systems were numerated for the largest potential number of say inside the FX1, FX4 and FX8. Alliant machines were fairly small, the FX-1 was about the size of a large full-height PC, while the FX-8 was smaller than a VAX-11 780ths, about the size of a large photocopier. All the systems were air-cooled. The speed of an FX-1 was about 2.5 MIPS million instructions per second and compared favorably to the 1 MIPS VAX-11 780ths. A fully populated 8 CEFX-8, with 8 times the aggregate MIPS, was in practice around 5 times faster than the FX-1 at solving problems that allowed a high degree of parallel computation A second series of FX machines, introduced in early 1988, replaced the CE with new custom hardware known as the Advanced Computational Element ACE. The Ytech FPUs were replaced by a floating-point chipset made by Bipolar Integrated Technology and a redesigned vector processor with 32 64-bit vector elements, 8 64-bit scalar floating-point registers, 8 32-bit integer registers, and 8 32-bit address registers. The new vector processor increased vector processing speed while reducing board space allowing the ACE to return to the 18 by 18 inch profile used by the other system boards in the main chassis. These were used in the FX, 40, FX, 80 and VFX machines. Alliant offered a number of software packages for its machines, including a solver for linear equations FX, Skyline Solver, a C compiler FX, C compiler, and scientific libraries FX, Linpack and FX, Icepack. Topic: 1990s In 1990, the FX 2800 series replaced the CE, ACEs, and IPs with modules based on the Intel i860 RISC chip. The i860 was an early superscalar CPU that allowed the programmer access directly into the pipelines. With custom coding, the 860 was a very fast system, making it perfect for supercomputer applications. In the new series the Super Computational Element and Super Interactive Processor both consisted of up to four i860s, up to seven of which could be interconnected on the crossbar. A fully expanded FX, 2800 could support 28 i860s in total. Also in July 1988 Alliant purchased Raster Technologies, a provider of high-resolution graphics terminals and custom graphics cards for Sun Microsystems workstations. Their GX4000 product was a combination of PHIGS Plus software and special graphical boards that could generate and display graphical vectors very fast. For 3D effects, a hardware Z buffer was available. The raster graphics technology was integrated with FX, 40 and FX, 80 machines to produce the VFX, Alliant's first fully integrated graphical mini-supercomputer. Alliant's final product series was the Campus, 800, a massively parallel machine based on units similar to the FX, 2800 known as cluster nodes and sharing a total of up to 4 GB of unified memory. 
Each cluster node was connected to up to 32 others with an intra cluster node switch, with a latency of 1 microsecond and 1.12 GB per second bandwidth. An inter cluster node switch based on HIPPI was also available, with a latency of 30 microseconds and 2.56 GB per second bandwidth. The largest campus system created included 192 cluster nodes in total, and provided 4.7 gigaflops. The Campus 800 was first announced in 1991, but the company was hit by a series financial problems and went bankrupt in 1992. Various Alliant systems soldiered on in service for many years after that however, and were generally considered very reliable. Alliant also contributed to the development of high-performance Fortran. The Computer History Museum has examples of the FX, 8 and FX, 1 from Convex Computer Corporation after Alliance Fall, but is seeking examples of FX, 80 and FX, 2800 configurations. <laughs> 